Hello again. So this is a follow-up video to my video about, uh, you know, um, people converting to certain religions. And uh, I just uh, recently got a message confirming that that person has converted herself and her child to Catholicism on Easter. And... <laughs> It's like it's a little disappointing but uh, I wanted to make a follow-up um, because uh, it's um, it's quite a, a sensitive issue to me because she's going to put her child through a life of misery literally um, so I think that um, it's really bad that a religion will accept the person uh, overnight like this because literally I could just hit my head and decide I want to be a Catholic and go back to that nonsense um, without making a conscious decision but then again some religions are about number not true faith if they were they would try and teach the scriptures properly to people um, so what I wanted to say is basically that people shouldn't change religions on a whim. And uh, I know a lot of you will probably say, but Anna, what are you saying? You did change your views, your religious views overnight. But um, in my case, it was already inside. And I had it uh, in me and it kind of spoke to my past self because the reason I became agnostic atheist because, was because of the contradictions between the New Testament and Old Testament and uh, certain things happened uh, you know I had uh, an experience uh, with uh, you know it's hard to explain uh, but uh, I was already and I, I didn't admit to, to lots of people, but sometimes I prayed, even going as an atheist, agnostic. Sometimes I secretly prayed to God, and I don't like to say it, but I did pray to God. Um, my mom said I should pray for Jesus, and I thought that was stupid. And there was a lot of things. Uh, now, the problem with this specific conversion is not that she is converting to Catholicism, is that she considered first converting to Judaism. And now, if someone is reading and studying the Torah, someone should be already aware of uh, the fact that a lot of the New Testament is bogus. Um, and that's my main problem with this conversion. It's a misinformed conversion. It's a person that is not reading the scriptures. She's reading books from Christian authors. She is listening to things from Christian authors. She is listening to priests. But is she actually studying the actual scriptures? She isn't. And uh, it is bothering, bothersome that someone would take such a life-altering decision without being informed and taking the most important book that she can take uh, when she's converting. And um, the thing is, yes, even the King James Bible, I think it's the one you use in the United States, but in the Catholic Bible, I have a lot of mistranslations. But even with a lot of mistranslations, you can actually see how the New Testament is manipulating things and taking things out of context to make them look like they're talking about Jesus. And you can see a lot of things that are a total contradiction with the Old Testament. They So I was able to see that as a child. And uh, it is bothersome that someone who has considered converting to Judaism for such a long time can't see that. It's like she's been studying the Torah far longer. Okay, I read the Torah, but it's not the same thing as studying it. And I didn't have access to the Talmud. And uh, I did study Kabbalah, but I studied uh, it with alchemy, which is very different from studying Kabbalah. 
Torah and the Talmud. And uh, it is very different. And I, as a kid, even without access to the Torah, I was aware that the Bible was a sham. Well, the New Testament was a sham. A sham. <sighs> I'm sorry, this is first reading. Because um, it's sad to see that some people were on the right path and now they're on again to believing in lies. I think that one of the first things that you come, one of those conclusions that people should make when they become or they want to convert to Judaism is um, the nature of their previous religion, which is idolatry. It's pure idolatry. Even Abrahamic religions are pure idolatry. <sighs> it's like, yes, uh, they have the same God, but they don't worship God. They do worship dead Jews, dead humans that the statues they that they, they have all that and someone I don't know I think maybe she never actually studied the Torah because that's the only acceptable explanation for her going from converting to Judaism to converting to Catholicism which is night and day literally night and day I don't, it's like Every Jew knows what the Messiah is, and every Jew, single Jew knows that uh, Jesus isn't the Messiah and didn't fill any of the Messianic promises, and more so, the nature of the Messiah is completely twisted in Christianity. They make him a godlike figure, they give him a pagan attributes that are incompatible with the Bible. So basically, if you're Catholic or Orthodox, no offense, you know, I come from such families um, or uh, any kind of Christian, you're living, you're a living contradiction. You're living in cognitive dissonance. <laughs> and uh, it, I think you owe it to yourself to read the scriptures, you know, take a, um, a good look at the Old Testament. Don't read the passages the way that the, the church or your pastors or your priests tell you to. You go to the Old Testament and you read each, each passage in full. You take a book and you read that book in full and see what things refer to. You go to the New Testament and you go and you see a passage that you see goes back to some passage. And um, they say it is talking about Jesus. And now you take that literal reference in the New Testament and you go back to the Old Testament and read the passage. You can see that the passage is there and the words are not exactly what is on the New Testament most of times. Then you see that passage in context, meaning you go back a few pages and start reading the story from the beginning and you see in context those verses that are attributed to the Messiah, to Jesus, as they see in um, and you see those passages in context, they are not in any shape or form referring to Jesus. You need, you need to go back, context matters. And um, this is why I believe that um, she is uh, making this conversion, she, she converted out of misinformation and uh, not much of a deep study. That's the thing. When you convert to religion, you should do it for yourself, not for the people you surround yourself with. You can't just 
you know, the side and um, out of the blue, I want to be Jewish. And uh, yeah, you're Jewish out of the blue. I want to be Catholic. I'm a Catholic out of the blue. I want to be a Mormon. I'm a Mormon out of the blue. And even though I don't believe in anything, actually I was given, I was, um, I'm informed on most religions because I like to know what are their lies and deceits and how they try to capture people. So I spent two years uh, talking to Jehovah's Witnesses and studying, studying with them and see their tactics. That's how I learned a lot of the ways they use to trap people. But I didn't get trapped because I knew my stuff. I knew the Old Testament and I knew every single thing after that is a lie. Uh, now I'm in touch with Mormons, and uh, of course that's more of a joke, but uh, still. And I think it is important that you get acquainted with all forms of religion, and you study them. But before knowing and making a decision about a religion, you need to know the scriptures. You need to know your own religion. And uh, I think that for all Abrahamic faiths, the most important part is studying the root of your religion. And what is the root? It is Judaism. For Christians, even though a lot of them descend from converts from pagan origins, um, or even a lot of a lot of us, and I'm saying a lot of us because I'm, by blood, I'm descended from Catholics. A lot of us may not actually be um, Catholics at all, and may be Neyanusim, people who were forced converted to Catholicism. And why this is bad? Because your ancestors went through persecution uh, by the church. Some were killed, some were uh, unjustly imprisoned, some were expelled from their countries, and others were forced converted and persecuted for being Jews alone. And you are following, um, you're following um, a cult, and I'm going to say a cult because um, they had cult tactics. Now they are a legitimate religion, but uh, come on, you know history. And so basically, if you're a Catholic and you're descended from Jews, you're basically not only following a lie, but giving power, money, to an institution that oppressed your ancestors. So I think everyone owes to themselves to know their origin, to, to learn about their ancestry. And most of all, I think that regardless of your origins, everyone should seek the truth. And if you believe in God and or you know that God exists, you should read the scriptures and read the scriptures in context and compare them and you can see that there is, you know, you have all the books from the Tanakh, and uh, then you have the New Testament. And usually, if things came from the same divine origin, there should be a thread going straight, straight there, actually conducive to the same ideas. What happens is there is a break. It gets to the New Testament, and it's a break because it's not the same thing. It is all man-made nonsense. It is all a corruption of Jewish principles. It is so. Uh, in the past, people thought that Jesus was the Messiah. And when he didn't fulfill the messianic promises, and actually, you can see there have been a lot of Jews who were seen as messiahs, 
and their followers had similar um, reactions, but none of them actually made it into a full-blown religion uh, over time. And uh, what happens is they try to rationalize things and trying to make things about a second coming and So this, um, so I think, and uh, this is what I wanted to come to. Um, everyone who is converting from Judaism or thought of converting to Judaism and goes into Catholicism later is doing so out of misinformation. Um, don't convert to a religion because you read a book, a book about a religion. Don't convert to a religion because you are talking to Christians and Catholics. Do your own readings. You are an invaluable source of knowledge if you want to. Take the Bible. Take your time reading the Bible. Don't read the Bible the way they teach you to. You need to read the Bible as a book. How would you read a book? Tell me, how would you read a book? Um, let me, hang on. Let me get, uh, I'm sorry. Huh. Okay. Okay. Oops. So let me take this book. Where do you start reading a book? Now, uh, this book is in Portuguese, so I'll have to show you how, this is how Christians tell you to read a book. Go here, take this sentence here, and uh, how maps, uh, how possible maps are very diverse, countries, regions, industrialized zones, artistic zones, it is clear that this problem has to be formulated in context of uh, graphs and has, and uh, that is, uh, we have to consider the, descri um, the described map as a polygonal graph. Um, that is taken out of context, and they will say this is referring to some, something else. And then they take you to another place and they take another sentence and they say it is related to this and whatever and whatever. That's not how you read the book. That's not how you read the book. You can basically prove that flies are God just from taking things out of context. That's not how you read a book. How you read a book is you take it from the first page and you read page after page after page. That's now how Christians read books. That's now how they read the Old Testament because they want to, they have that circular logic and they want to prove a point. And the only way that they can prove that what they say is in the scriptures is by going back and going, taking little pieces of um actually this is um, this is the best way to describe it they're they're trying to build a puzzle and they see some pieces that don't fit so what they take is they grab a pair of scissors and they cut the edges until they fit the image is distorted but they manage to make the pieces fit and that's what Christians do to the Bible. They take the little pieces, they don't fit. So what they do, they take the scissors, they cut the edges, and they manage to make them fit. But if you look at the picture, it's a distorted picture. It's nothing like the original. That's what Christians are doing to the Bible. And this is why I have such a problem with this, because, uh, you know, if people were informed and had taken time to read the Bible themselves instead of learning it from others, 
they would know the truth and uh, so yeah this is uh, a little upsetting but um, I wanted to touch on this uh, if you're considering converting to a religion never do it out of influences from other people never do it out of I'm bored so I'm changing religions and some people do it throughout their lives they go from Jehovah's Witnesses to Seventh-day Adventists to Catholics to Muslims to whatever because uh, they are soul-searching and uh, they don't know that they should look for the truth and looking for the truth is analyzing things it's not because that's the problem nowadays a lot of people we live in a secular world and a lot of people are not informed about their religions. They don't take their hands-on approach to learning things. They get regurgitated knowledge uh, from other people and they trust those people to be telling them the truth. When it's easy, in the past, I understand, people didn't have access to schooling and a lot of people were in alphabets and they had to rely on their parishes they had to rely on other people to teach them but now every, everyone can read that's we live in an era where there's such an abundance of schooling and we are rich because we learn to read from such a young age but we choose not to it's it's so sad that we are taught to read so young but we choose not to and that's why a lot of people are following the wrong religion they've never read the bible if more people read the bible and i mean really read the bible not taking little passages um at a time more people would know the truth and which is why it is so disappointing that someone who was converting to Judaism fall back falls back into Christian Catholic traps because if they had been studying the Torah properly and with the the appropriate devotion they would know that all the Catholic stick is, is a lie it's a deception more so it is against the, the, the God's commandments even against Noahide uh, commandments so in short uh, when you consider converting to a religion don't do it in two weeks two months you need to learn what you are choosing for your life you need to know what is the truth and yes some people are inca incapable of learning the truth but at least you should make sure that you spend enough time to know what you're going for so that's it for this video and i'm sorry i'm talking about this subject again but it is close to my heart because um i I spent so many years trying to flee from the Catholic Church, but it's like it's like my mom says, you know, you were baptized, you're a Catholic, whether you like it or not, you may change religions, but you're always a Catholic. And I'm like, why? Who chose? Who decided that for me? Who chose that for me? I don't want to live in a life for the rest of my life. And um, their mentality is such that it drives people to agnosticism and uh, atheism because my mom said oh you don't believe in jesus so you don't believe in god and i'm like i believe in god i don't believe in jesus um and she said it long enough that i said you know either i believe in god and that jesus is god's son or i'm an atheist but because uh, it's that mentality all or nothing all or nothing and it drove me to a lot of years of agnosticism and atheism because uh 
That's that all or nothing mentality. If you don't believe that Jesus is your savior, you're basically denying God. Um, and uh, yes, for a long time I was angry. I was uh, revolted until <laughs> finally I realized that uh, I was right along and I don't need to deny God, to deny uh, Jesus is the Messiah or that Jesus is the third uh, person of the Trinity or that uh, God is free people because uh, I don't need to believe in all this and it's okay not to believe in all that nonsense because it is after all nonsense but uh, that, that that's why I'm a little upset at this situation because um, it's another you know she has a child it's another child that is going to be taught deceitful lies and another child that is going to be trapped with this nonsense and I know not all children, not all Catholic children, uh, try start denying the doctrine. But it is hard because uh, you know my mom said a lot of time to me, "You need to be exercised because uh, you're the devil or something like that." Just because I refuse to accept their saints, their uh, a lot of things. And yes, there were times I would fall prey to saint worshiping and stuff because you know she she did get me saints she didn't get me a lot of stuff and uh, <laughs> it is hard uh, to escape from their brainwashing and um, it's weird I rejected uh, the things but at the same time uh, she would give them as amulets and I wouldn't I would hold on to them and I wouldn't throw them away um, I think more out of respect for her I think but still I have them well I, I don't have them anymore I give them away to her but I still I wanted to destroy them but I thought you know she would be offended so I gave them to her because she had given me, they were present, and uh, it, it's a weird thing. It's more you do things because people expect you to do them, even though you don't believe in them. And that's a little of what I was doing. That's a little of what I was doing. So, it is really difficult for people to get out of the Catholic Church. You try to question their doctrine. You even show them passages in the Bible that go in conflict with their teachings. And they turn against you. They tell you you don't believe in God. You're blaspheming. Instead of telling you, oh, you're talking like Jews. Or giving you, you know, pull, leading you to the direction that would be more natural to you, which is Judaism. I think, um, and that's the weirdest part, that priests, I think they, they must be purposeful, purposefully deceitful or they're stupid. Because either they don't know the scriptures properly, or they're keeping people in the Catholic Church out of malice. Uh, that, that has, that's, there, there's only two possibilities. Because, you know, when you have a child coming to you with those questions and you tell you you're blaspheming, shut up, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry, that's uh, why it is so personal. And uh, I believe people should read uh, the Bible themselves. And uh, I know lots of people are against sola scriptura and st stuff like that but that's the reason they don't want you to know the truth they don't know they don't want you to come to your own conclusions so please pay attention when they tell you for instance this proves jesus is the messiah go back go back in the bible track that passage and read it 
then you go back to the beginning of the chapter and read the story in full and you'll see that in most cases that has nothing to do with the Messiah and whatever passages that are that exist about the actual Messiah prove that Jesus is not the Messiah and furthermore there are certain passages about false prophets and you can see that those passages the description in those passages about false prophets do indeed refer almost like a glove to Jesus so that's it and I'm sorry about uh, if I'm talking again about that person that I used to look up for look up to uh, but um, I think it is important if you're making a, a major life-changing decision and changing religion like that that uh, you take time to read the scriptures don't convert in one month within the span of one month that's not enough the bible has so much depth and depth 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 i'm sorry i can't pronounce it today um that you owe it to yourself to read it in full especially especially what you call the old testament and compare it to what you call the new testament trust me you'll see it will open your eyes definitely it will open your eyes so that's it for today thank you and i'm sorry for renting a little and this is my new room um so bye, -bye.